Somebody recently emailed me and asked me about reverse engineering, um, how to do it, how easy it was to um, to set it all up and that. So I'll just do this quick video, I just want to just explain to some people because I've had other questions similar. Um, need a good magnifying glass, but we won't go into that at the moment. Um, here at the moment I'm just working on the, um, this is the new um, ATEM toolkit that I'm doing, which this is the HyperDeck control. Um, but I uh, again having to reverse engineer um, the data and uh, the first thing you need to do is get a program that can actually analyze uh, or sorry um, to, can look at the data that's being sent to and from the ATEM so um, I take the uh, whatever commands are coming out of the, the uh, ATEM software control panel and then I um, then uh, analyze them and uh, in doing so I've then got to in looking at the data I've got to then scan through all the data looking for certain patterns you see all, all those patterns are down the side there in this case I'm looking for data that sends commands out to the hyperdeck and you can see here I've found here's a pattern here this little code here that's actually a um, an ATEM command called CXCP and then in the, all the information in, in closed in this block here is what's needed to send out to the ATEM for it to understand what you want it to do um, and in this case there's certain bits of data in here that I need to um, uh, to tell um, so once you've got the data and you, and you extract um, the bits of, bits of code you can see there's two commands in here that's exactly the same um, as I scroll down a bit here, you'll see there are other bits of data in here. Um, and you've got to remember this is analysing data going both ways. Um, so as, as we send out data packets, uh, we then also receive data packets. And uh, I'm just trying to find these. Are, um, no, that's, not, that's another send. Uh, um, this is a... No, that's another send just got to find one here somewhere um, and yeah take my word for it there's, there's a lot of um when I say send they're sending commands out to the ATEM the ATEM responds by sending data back uh, which is generally status stuff that you need to, to display um, so once you've got this data then you've got to um, put it into uh, a spreadsheet and here is a spreadsheet that I use to uh, put the data into and um, you can see here we have um, all the different commands uh, what the what the data within the command means um, and um, and the only way you can do it is by actually performing the command on the ATEM software control panel then reading the data down here analyzing the data and finding the packets that you think are the ones that are being used and then cutting and pasting it into the spreadsheet to be able to then start analysing all the different values and then once you see the values change from doing certain certain things, um, certain commands you can then start to um, work out there's a structure in in, um, in these values and it just says here, see this is that command you saw before, CXCP uh, and then you can have a look, have a look at the bytes in in that string of data, and you can see certain things mean like that one there. There's a mask to indicate what the command is. And then you have like the, which deck it's sending to, uh, the function uh, that the next byte is performing, um, and then uh, in this case it's a transport control. So you can see there's a speed value, uh, and then there's certain information for the job. Uh, you also have to analyse the timings because these things have got to occur in a certain time um, frame so you've got to make sure that you duplicate the time frames um, and then eventually you end up with um, something like this where you can um, you can go up and and perform certain functions yeah get my finger on here um, oh, frame it up uh, and then you can um, you can do whatever you need to do um, on here. So I hope that explained something.